I've just witnessed manslaughter. First and foremost, the gameplay you're watching was a live commentary done between me and my homeboy uh, Aaron that I'm going to be posting uh, very, very soon. I just witnessed manslaughter. I'm I'm an accomplice for what it is I just witnessed. Cyborg versus Landsberg. Cyborg is an animal and wins by stoppage in the second round. Cyborg is an absolute animal and may be considered not human. This is not a female. This is the Terminator in drag. This is a grown man that had surgery to remove the, the diddly diddly do dinger. All jokes aside, there is not a single woman in mixed martial arts in the company of the Ultimate Fighting Championship that I believe can be at the same weight class as this monster and defeat her. You can name anybody in the company. If Cyborg can make the weight, there's not a single person that can beat her. I don't think so. I, I just don't see it. Round one started, and it was a lot of clinching. Landsberg, you can tell the game plan was smother her. Don't allow her to extend those lunchbox of fists. Don't allow her to cock back at 119 miles an hour and hit you with the force of prime Mike Tyson. You smother her. You get in close. You just don't allow her to rain down on you. The first three, three and a half minutes of the first round was pure clinching. And even then, Cyborg is still being on the offensive. Mean Landsberg to the body over and over and over. Landsberg doing what she can. Nothing really is. She's not providing too much offense. She's really on the defensive. She's really just holding on for dear life. As Cyborg, you can tell she's getting tired. She's a she's a it's a grown ass man, dog. She's getting tired, which I believe is part of the game plan. Smother her, stay close. Don't allow her to just start raining down. And you get this big behemoth tired. You may have a shot. You may. You 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 may have an opportunity. But after about three and a half minutes of hugging and, and Landsberg taking knee after knee after knee to the ribs, Yamasaki decides to break it up and allow them to, uh, you know, reset. So they get back into it and they're striking and you can just tell that Landsberg, every time she gets hit, it's, ah, it hurts. Somehow, she survives to live to the second round. I don't know if you can hear it in the TV in the background, but her left eye is closed shut. Landsberg, I mean. Her face is bloody and lumped up. TKO in the second round. No, her right eye is closed. No, no, no. It's the left eye. Her left eye is closed. Landsberg's left eye is closed. She got destroyed. Two minutes and a, uh, two minutes and twenty-nine seconds into the second round. The second round begins. It's the same thing. It's a quick clinch. It's a quick hug fest. Next thing you know, <laughs> Cyborg gets Landsberg down. And she looks down upon her prey and starts molly whopping shots to the face. She's she's kind of she's not standing up. You know, she's in her guard, but um, Cyborg isn't standing up, but just on her knees, hitting her in the stomach, stomach, elbow to the face, to the face, to the face. <clears throat> I'm convinced that if I am a female fighter and they bring up Chris Cyborg as a potential opponent to me, I'm going to need to be on horseback. I'm going to need a horse. I'm going to need a sawed off shotgun. I'm going to need three live grenades, and I'm also going to need two bear traps. If they meet my demands, 
I will go on ahead and why would you why would you agree to fight this monster? You would have to be in order to beat her just off her pure strength alone makes her devastatingly deadly just in her strength. I don't know what type of testosterone she got. I don't know what they're feeding her in her country. But whatever it is, she has the strength. You can look it up on YouTube. She she did she went in with Tito Ortiz. Flipped him around a little bit. Tito Ortiz. Back in like his UFC prime days when he was, you know, probably walking around a, a clean 220, 230. Flipping him around. This girl cyborg is a monster. A lot of people talk about the super fight, you know, uh, between Rousey and Cyborg. Rousey doesn't stand a chance against this animal. Doesn't stand. She's not gonna run up to her, grab her, and hit her with a hip. She's too strong for that. She's too. She's gonna shove her away. She's gonna hit her with a stiff arm. She's not gonna outstrike Cyborg. I mean, you look at somebody like Holly Holmes could outstrike her, but she doesn't have the strength to deal with Cyborg. These girls are, they're, they're girls compared to this grown-ass man. Now, Cyborg does have one loss on her MMA uh, career. I forgot the name of it, but I did see the fight. It's again, It was like, I believe she was blonde, and she was tall, like a tall, tall blonde girl. Who was like a boxing beast. And even still. Cyborg got beat up pretty bad. I mean, she she got she got the hands. But even then. Cyborg was still putting in work. Against the larger opponent. That's the thing. It, it takes a larger opponent. It's. it's w When Cyborg is the larger opponent. It's scary. To watch. To see what she does. Against these, these frail women. She's coming in here. Like, have you ever seen, not Bloodsport, but um, the other movie with uh, Van Damme where uh, his friend was fighting in China and um, the dude, he was the bald dude with the ponytail. He's sitting there kicking the, the damn um, the, the post. Sitting there just kicking it. Just kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it. Van Dam passing by when his, I, th I believe it was his brother, went to go ask for ice. He goes back and he just sees this grown ass man just kicking the hell out of this cinder, like this. I, I, I can't think of the, the name for what they're actually called, but just like that, 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 that Asian dude, if you guys know what I'm talking about, Kickboxer. It's the movie Kickboxer. The movie Kickboxer with Rob Van Dam. Um, who's a wrestler? I mean, with John Claude Van Damme, when the Asian dude was kicking the, the the post, just kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, like pure concrete and cracking it. That's that cyborg. Who can be an uh, an opponent to this monster and make it so cyborg can actually have an opportunity to lose? This woman is on a different level. This woman is an animal. This woman is, oh my God, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, it's it's crazy on how, how strong she is, on how hard she hits. Her striking is, is good. It's not like she's wildly swinging, depending. On her strength, hoping one. Oh no, she's accurate. She, as she's accurate, she's very accurate. Hitting, mixing it up, combos to the body, to the body, uppercut, kick to the body, elbow, elbow, three, four, jab. It's it was tough to watch. It it was legit tough to sit there and watch this girl get beat by a silverback. Cyborg is a monster. You couldn't pay me to fight that woman. You couldn't pay me to get in an octagon and fight that woman. She will beat the living hell out of me. Unless, again, they meet my demands. If I'm on horseback, three live grenades, and two bear traps, and a bulletproof vest with a sawed-off shotgun, 
maybe I'll see myself being successful. But unless that happens, my Lord, is this woman a freak? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you guys seen the fight. It's your boy, Jess, man. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.